Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Uh, bear with me. I'm very tired. So uh, I want to start out with the Bitcoin chart here. And this is the three-day chart on uh, Bitfinex on the Bitcoin Wisdom site. And the reason I'm pulling this chart up is because uh, the recent enthusiasm for Bitcoin has uh, been phenomenal. And especially, and we're going to look at uh, Ethereum and some of the other moves and the others. But uh, I just want to remind you that Bitcoin has corrected many times. You can see right here, if you go back to this one here, you can see this price right here. It's, it's uh, about $1,100 roughly. You can see it went to 100 So $1,100 to 100 uh, that's a 90% correction and we could get that uh, so we're talking 3,000 at the top and it could go down to 300 so um, this can happen it has happened it, it seems like it's impossible at this point but you have to remember that when these things happen uh, the enthusiasm is really crushed and uh, the reason why is because the recovery period is very long you can see this long dip here um, we're talking about December of 2014 all the way to um, really to get back to those highs uh, January of 2017 so you're talking years now that can happen again and that's gonna really crush enthusiasm uh, it, it's going to discourage the newbies uh, you can think about all the people who were uh, excited about Bitcoin back in 2014 and bought in at you know 700 600 700 800 and the price went all the way down to 100 and not only that but it, it it bounced to all the way to 500 but then you can see it drifted down and it just had a, that type of punishing uh, correction so you have to keep in mind that can happen and uh, there's really no way to protect yourself unless you're doing what i'm doing which is using usdt and and uh, uh, going to cash uh, it's it's very hard to do and 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 uh, stay in that uh, for a length of time so that's always a potential for a big correction and uh, I think it's coming I don't know when it's coming um, but uh, always keep an eye out for it so you can see this this latest low was really uh, on uh, Bitfinex we got about 2000 but on USDT we actually got 1600 so um, there's still a big possibility for a big correction now let's talk about the uh, complete market cap here we're around that 110 billion dollars and again um, Ethereum is rapidly chasing down Bitcoin and uh, I, I really don't know what that means. It might mean that uh, the potential fork in Bitcoin, the uh, SegWit issue is causing uncertainty. Uh, Ripple is at 10 billion. That's uh, shocking. We've had a big rally in Litecoin. Let's go over to uh, uh, Bitcoin Wisdom and pull up the Litecoin chart. So Litecoin has had a big rally in the last 48 hours. Uh, the, the main rally was $5 all the way up to $25. And uh, most people thought that Litecoin was done. But then it, we had a recent blast off from about 29 all the way up to 45. Uh, so again, uh, Litecoin is also signaling a, a uncertainty about Bitcoin that's what I read into this is uh, people trying to hedge into another coin and uh, these are all traded uh, against the US dollar 
So uh, this is actually a Litecoin, you can see right here on the chart, Litecoin US dollar. So these coins, uh, the main ones, Litecoin, Bitcoin, um, Ethereum, Ripple, there are US dollar markets for these coins. So it's not just a matter of comparing the coins to each other, but it's a matter of comparing them to the US dollar. So you can have a situation where one of these coins rallies strongly on its own. So this, this move here in, in Litecoin, you can see if we compare it to Bitcoin, uh, there's not that type of move. So uh, these coins are starting to move on their own. Now, let's look at this story here. Uh, this is really important because we're, we're now entering another stage of the government trying to do something against cryptocurrencies and it's of course it's always been absurd what they're trying to do but let's read this story and i'm going to comment here you won't believe this stupid new law against cash and bitcoin this one is almost too ridiculous to believe recently a new bill was introduced on the floor of the u.s senate entitled pleasantly combating money laundering terrorist financing and counterfeiting act of 2017 you can probably already guess its contents cash is evil bitcoin is evil now they've gone so far to include prepaid mobile phones retail gift vouchers or even electronic coupons evil 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 these people are cert certifiably insane among the bill's sweeping provisions the government aims to greatly extend its authority to seize your assets through civil asset forfeiture. Civil asset forfeiture rules allow the government to take whatever they want from you without trial or due process. This new bill adds a laundry list of offenses for which they can legally seize your assets, all of which pertain to money laundering and other financial crimes. Here's the thing though, they've vastly expanded on the definition of such financial crimes, including failure to fill out a form if you happen to be transporting more than $10,000 worth of monetary instruments. Have too much cash? You better tell the government. If not, they're authorizing themselves in this bill to seize not just the money you didn't report, but all of your assets and bank accounts. They even go so far as to specifically name safety deposit boxes among the various assets that they can seize if you don't fill out the form. Yet another reason to consider storing cash, gold, and silver in an overseas safe deposit box. So uh, I'm not going to go further. This is, uh, of course, Simon Black, uh, which uh, Zero Hedge likes. I like him, but uh, everybody else hates him. But So let's talk about cryptocurrencies and taking them overseas because uh, this bill actually talks about transporting cryptocurrencies overseas and uh, just the language in the bill uh, you'll have to read further into it but uh, the idea that they would pass a law about transporting cryptocurrencies uh, across borders is uh, so clear it makes it so clear that they have no idea what cryptocurrencies really are um, so to try to explain it to you imagine if uh, you had uh, all the people of all the various countries that held shares in uh, a good example would be say the moon uh, um, just imagine that there was a moon corporation or something like that that uh, it turns out that there was some way to have a, a financial interest in the moon and uh, people around the world uh, bought shares or had interest or um, made financial investments in moon shares so you have this thing that's completely off the planet a thing that's not related to any government uh, where people have a percentage of their wealth tied into an investment related to this thing. Uh, so that's the same thing as Bitcoin. The, the, 
the ledger for Bitcoin is not held in any particular country. So to talk about moving your assets, if, if you uh, leave the United States and move to Australia, for example, and what they're saying is that you're you're transporting Bitcoin from America to Australia or you're taking it in a wallet across there. Uh, the whole idea is ridiculous because the the blockchain is a ledger, a universal ledger that's outside of the system. That's why I used the example of the moon. So if you can imagine people having shares in the moon, uh, it doesn't matter what country they're in. It, it, regardless of where they go, um, their shares are outside of that type of jurisdiction. So to talk about uh, a person taking their Bitcoin outside of the country is a fundamental misunderstanding of what Bitcoin is. It's a ledger that uh, is universal. It does. Uh, the only way to do the type of regulation they're talking about is to actually prevent people who own Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency from leaving the jurisdiction because it doesn't matter if they have a brain wallet, if they have a uh, USB wallet that is in multiple locations, you could upload it to a Mega or any other site. Um, but the point is that the fact that the legislators would talk about people taking their Bitcoin across borders uh, and trying to pass laws against them transporting their Bitcoin across borders, uh, the fact that they would do that proves that they are so ignorant of what cryptocurrencies are that they are a universal ledger uh, and that the only way to stop people from taking their wealth outside of a country is to stop them from leaving the country because they can have their password in their head. They can have a 24-word uh, password or they can have a paper wallet. They can have any number of things that allow them to take their wealth with them. But uh, these new laws demonstrate that the the powers that be the government are so far behind the curve they don't even understand what these things are and uh, you can think about things like the the Gutenberg uh, go back to my videos that I did in 2011 when I first discovered Bitcoin and talked about it uh, I've got an office series there uh, talking about how Bitcoin's on the Ponzi scheme etc uh, but uh, Back in 2011, I explained that uh, it's like the Gutenberg uh, press. It's an idea whose time has come. They can't stop it. They can try to stamp out uh, little areas, but there's no way to stop this fire. This fire is going to burn. Um, you, you can't stop people from taking their money outside of the country because the only way to stop them from doing that is to stop them from leaving the country physically. And uh, so the fact that the legislators would pass a law like this that shows they have no understanding whatsoever of what cryptocurrencies are and how they work uh, proves that we're still just at the beginning stages of this thing. Um, they're, they're going to be completely obsolete their systems are going to be wiped out uh, they're so far behind the curve that uh, they don't even understand how it works and we'll talk to you next time